Hi everyone, the objectives of this video are to define the solubility limit. We're then going to have a look at how to determine the type of phase present from a phase diagram. Okay, so what is solubility limit? This is the maximum concentration for which a single phase solution occurs. So when we say concentration, we're talking about the concentration of the element. So for example, nickel or copper um, in a nickel copper phase diagram. Could be other elements if we're looking at a different phase diagram. But we're talking about the maximum concentration of an element for which we're still in a single phase zone. So just solid or just liquid without entering into that double phase solid plus liquid zone. So in this case, the solubility limit is represented on the phase diagram as the boundary between the single and the multi-phase region. So that line separating the solid, the liquid from the solid and the liquid, well, that's the maximum concentration. So that's the solubility limit. Okay, so another definition, isomorphous means complete solubility. So something is isomorphous if the solid phase, for example, extends all the way from zero to 100%, so all the way across one side to the other side of the graph. And miscible, this is the ability of a substance to completely mix and make a homogeneous substance. Okay, so now let's get into the phase diagram. How can we determine the phase present? Well, as a rule, if we know the temperature and the weight percent, which we call CO, then we can determine the types of phases. Okay, so let's have a look at this diagram then. Okay, so firstly, something to notice here, in this case, it is isomorphous because each single phase, so the liquid and the solid phase, which is again represented by that alpha, moves 